I am going to refocus our uh, um, paradigm for natural resource management. For the most part, Ghana has not maximized the benefits from our natural resources. Since the days of the Portuguese in the 15th century, gold has been taken out of Ghana and taken out of Ghana and taken out of Ghana. We haven't benefited that much from our natural resources. I am going to change that paradigm. I am going to bring a bigger focus on ownership of our natural resources. I am well, it's as if right now we don't own the natural resource. I believe that if we do the exploration and we are going to empower our universities and the geological survey department to do the exploration, once we explore and we have seven gold belts, there's so much gold that we haven't yet even discovered. But once we explore and we know that the gold is here, the new policy is going to be that the ownership of those resources will be 100% owned by Ghana. All right, so that was from Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. So, may I see video like this? Uh, this uh, quickly, then I go go the comment section, then go see what people they think about this whole video. So, make we read one or two comments. Okay, may I say, see how he is sweating. The lights of sweat has caught up to him. Uh, another person is saying, he said, this man is he okay? I think he's no, he needs to visit the uh, assembly. He is not really fine. Okay. Another person is saying, he said, hey Charlie, Charlie, now Vice President Pana Muyeni San, I'm to me boo, I'm to me boo, pa Charlie, he be serious. Charlie, another person is saying, but down for hey, Charlie, the joke is on us. And that was it. Jokers, we all choose as leaders. Change your household. Hey, Charlie, the, the way Ghanaians now they take politics, it be serious, it be serious. But Ushima, whatever Dr. Baumia they talk, it be true. That be the right thing every leader for do. But check like Ghanaians to the BAP say, you be, you've been vice president for eight years. Eight years old. You know, if you tell your government or your president, you are you are, you be the vice. Tell her make you come do these things. And now they tell us they make we vote give you then when you can go come do these things. I sure say that why most Ghanaians bore with and they just they tell, tell them for the comment session then. And I'm sure say what Dr. Baumia they talk about now. Nanado is even aware of this. You know any idea new Nanado no no you know. So why are they not doing it? Now, Dr. Baumia, the talk say when he come, I go come do. Is it just a political talk to get vote from Ghanaians? Because nobody go fit tell me, say, no, 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 about these things. Where Dr. Baumia, they talk about. No? All right, so make we continue. Uh, this guy is asking, say, this is the second time I'm asking this question. Is this guy an independent candidate? I just said, because on the answer, hmm. Uh, Terry say, this year campaign year we go hear things so and promise so hey ghana another person saying say oh food so by saying that he should chop some slap hmm. as someone uh, this person say anamu julo just on account of crime when they want power they come with sweet talk the time is over lies upon lies don't they get don't they get tired are you not the vice? Can't you say something meaningful to your president? Hmm. So that be that why they talk. So if Dr. Baumia really want to make people listen to him, he should come and clean, he should find a way really to convince Ghanaians. Because check like now, Ghanaians tired of this he promises. Because once you are the vice, that was somebody was asking, said, is he an independent candidate? Now you guys did power, so at least. It's better you do something than coming out to promise. And yes, I part there, Charlie. Hmm. Okay. Again, you are a driver mate that didn't pay attention to the driver. So you aren't qualified yet to drive us. We will rather walk than you to drive us, Mr. Mate. He asked someone. 
this guy is also saying, say, this shows this man is confused and doesn't have anything to do. Looks as if someone is forcing him to speak. Charlie.